Sorry, it was kind of noisy there. Well, it got a lot busier, too, later on. We, we stayed long enough to go through, uh, well, three of these. Two for me, one for Ina. But, you know, Oktoberfest, gotta do it. Now I'm home, and I thought I'd just go over those words that I shouted at you. Okay, number one. Weltschmerz. Weltschmerz from Welt, world, Welt, world, it's related, and Schmerz, meaning pain, it's related to English smart, as in not, not intelligent, but you know, like that. So, world pain, it just means world weariness, really being sick of the way the world is, when you just want to, you know, um, yeah. Zeitgeist, from Zeit, meaning time, and it's related to English tide, and Geist, meaning spirit, and it's related to English ghost. It means the spirit of the times, the, the mood of the world at a given time, the way things are going, the, the way the wind's blowing, whatever you want. Weltanschauung. 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 It means worldview, Welt, world, Anschauung. Anschauen, literally show on, and ung meaning, it's just a, it's a suffix, makes it a noun. So world view, just the way you see the world, the way, the way you think that everything is organized, whether you think the Illuminati are controlling it, or the world runs on alcohol, or I don't know. Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. That's from schaden, meaning damage, harm, like if you crash your car or you embarrass yourself or something like that. And Freude, meaning joy, as in Freude, schöne Güte, Funken, Tochter aus Elysium. Wir betreten Feuer, Trunken, Himmlische, dein Heiligtum. Schadenfreude means Delight in somebody else's suffering. If you see somebody who is really taking a fall and you're like, yes, that's Schadenfreude. Goethe Dämmerung. Goethe Dämmerung. That's from Goethe, gods, and Dämmerung, twilight. Um, Wagner, when he wrote his ring cycle, uh, took these Nordic myths and he mistranslated. Uh, a Norwegian word, an Old Norse word, and he thought that it meant twilight of the gods. It actually meant fate of the gods, but, uh, well, anyway, twilight of the gods. It's, it's when the balloon goes up, everything goes pointy shape, things go down, the high and mighty fall, and uh, you might be an occasion for a schadenfreude from time to time. Wunderkind. Wunderkind. From wunder, meaning wonder and kind meaning child it just means a prodigy a wonder child if you say wonderkind be a little bit more of a wunderkind and say wunderkind and if people think what are you being pretentious you're going to say i'm a wunderkind so there drink gemütlich gemütlich that means cozy it's sort of almost like what the Danes call hygge, which I'm sure is a term you're familiar with. Um, you, you want just a cozy, lovely hominess. It actually comes from gemüt, meaning heart or mind or spirit, and leash, meaning like early. So it's, it's just sort of like hearty in a way, or homely almost, well, whatever. But it, it is, it's homey. And it's the sort of thing that you toast at Oktoberfest, literally. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. And you keep drinking until you think you can sing. Oktoberfest. 
Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Okay, I mean, it's a festival of October. The thing is, it doesn't actually happen in October. It's sort of like the whole period running up to Christmas ends at Christmas. Well, Oktoberfest ends on the first Sunday of October. In Germany, it's like two whole weeks, in fact, 16 days in, in Munich. The, that's where they have it, München, Munich. Huge thing. I've, I've never been to the actual event. I've been, I've been to Munich, but in the summer, I, I don't like crowds that much. I have to drink a lot to enjoy them. But anyway, Oktoberfest. Weissbier. Weissbier. Yes, beer is a vice. It's a very nice vice. But in this case, vice means white. It's just white. It's also, there's some overlap with a form of the word Weizen, which means wheat. So a vice beer is a wheat beer, and it's a white beer, or, you know, anyway, not dark. And it's a nice vice, I'd say. Dunkel, Dunkel means dark. That's it. Dunkel, dark. You can have a dark beer, and that's Dunkel. A, a dunkel. There's nothing more to say about that. So I didn't pour one of those tonight because I'm busy going through this leader and, you know, there's only so much a person can go through in the course of taping a pronunciation tip. In this case, I'm not even quite a half a liter yet. I don't have to do something about that. And so... That's my Oktoberfest pronunciation tip for you. So, uh, I'm Prosit. I'm Prosit. I'm Prosit. Der Gemütlichkeit. Freude, schöne Götterfunken. Schadenfreude, Götterfunken. I don't know. Drink 